Hey everyone, this is Brian. Now, for the past couple weeks, as you probably saw an example of it on my uh, on a video I posted, my church has been doing a series called Boot Camp for Ch for Christians. And now, this past Sunday and the Sunday before this, we started a part of it called P called the Pillars, basically, or as we call them, the PCF Pillars. PCF standing for Patterson Christian, Patterson Christian Fellowship. Now, uh, last week's pillar, which was our first one, was called love. Now, I don't normally do this, but I've been thinking about doing it for a while, and and that's I want to kind of read you, starting this week, the uh, first two pillars, and the uh, chapters. And verses that goes that are associated with them. So the first one, which was love last week, which off, which was the first pillar that my church did, started out with the uh, First John, chapter four, verse seven, and it goes from verse seven to twelve. Now, if I if I don't do so well, you know, please accept my apology. But hopefully, I'll do just as good as I can. But here we go. This is First John, uh, chapter four, verse seven through twelve, and it's, it's basically it's subtitled "God's Love and Ours," and it goes like this at verse seven through twelve. Uh, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who love has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love God, or who do, whoever does not love, does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his own one and only Son into the world, oh, that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, he also ought to, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is made complete in us. Now those were the first uh, couple of, now that was the first uh, main uh, book and chapter and verses that we worked on when it came to our first pillar which was love now of course our pastor went into some other chapters and other books as well but I can't think of any right now at the top, off the top of my head and that he went into but these are the ones he went into so you know praise praise the Lord for that you know he you know he really helped us out there but those basically are the main on the main verses in chapter 4 that he read off to us and that we read along with him that day. Now, this past Sunday we did another pillar which was pillar number 2 called Feed. And basically when we started with 2 Timothy chapter 3 through chapter we started with chap chapter 3 verse 14 to 17 and then we went to chapter 4 verse 1 through 5 now let me get to second timothy and we can go from there now this is where we started out like i said in second timothy chapter 3 verse 14 in through 17 now of course he breaks it up into separate uh areas for us to go into these verses but they all state the same thing I mean for the first uh, area that he breaks it into the first topic is check the source of your spiritual food now that start now he basically what that is the first topic on this is he basically has this reading through chapter 3 verse 14 15 and chapter 4 3 through f 3 through 4 for that and then 
In the second topic, it's called Check the Challenging Nature of Your Spiritual Food, in which, you, in which he had us read 2 Timothy 3:16 to 17 And then the third and final topic on this was Check the Messenger of Your Spiritual Food, which, was, which is where we read 2 Timothy 4, verse 1 through 2 and 5. Now, just like last week, he also did some other books and chapters as well on this subject, but these are the main chapters and verses that we read from. And they all basically mean, when I read through them, all mean the same thing. So, let's start out with chapter 3, verse 14 to 17 of Second Timothy. And it goes like this. Here we go. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of because you know those from whom you learned it and how from in fancy you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through the faith in Christ Jesus all scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching rebuking correcting training and training in righteousness so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work and now from there we go to chapter 4 which is 1 through 5 and it goes like this in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus who will judge the living and the dead and in view of his appearing of his appearing in his kingdom I give you this charge preach the word be prepared in season and out of season correct rebuke and encourage with great patience and careful instruction for the time will come when men will not put up with sound doctrine and with sound doctrine instead to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside, and turn aside to myths. But you, keep your head, head in all situations. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry. Now he goes on to um, 6 through 7, and I will read these because it w I think this go is a part of it, even though we didn't read it, I'm not sure. But in chapter, but in verse f 6 through 7 and 8, he says, For I am already poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for any for my departure. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. That is basically the chapters and verses that we have learned in the past two weeks of our boot camp for Christian series and our uh, pillar chapter of that series so I hope you enjoyed them and may God bless you for for all your days and you know keep them in your heart and let them watch over you and take care of you and your family because he is the way and he is the truth Thank you and God bless.